Hi, this is Gary Pope from Late to the Table. This is another segment of What Should I Get where we basically go on the board game subreddit on Reddit. We go to What Should I Get post and we basically suggest games for people. So, let's go ahead and start. Uh, Dernal is looking for a game that plays up to six players and has a lot of conflict and strategy. It will also be played in an evening. Now for this one, I'll suggest two games. For five players and under, I would keep it with Comet, but right at six players, I'd go with Game of Thrones. Ocean's Persona wants a three to seven player game that lasts about 30 to 60 minutes minutes and it roughly under 40 bucks if possible. I would suggest Citadel's Mission Red Planet, One-Eyed Ultimate Werewolf, and also Room 25 Ultimate Edition. Puying is a single mom whose go-to second player is their nine-year-old son. They're just basically wondering about two-player games that could work between both of them. So for this one I would go with some two-player classics such as Patchworks and Carcassonne, but if you'd like to work together on some nights I would definitely would suggest Pandemic and Hanabi. Electric Blue is known that they have no dexterity games in their collection would like to round it out. If you probably want one of the best ones on the market right now, definitely go with Junk Art. If you want almost like a family heirloom one, go with Crokinole. If you want a surprise two player hit that's a bit smaller than Crokinole, then go with Clask. And if you're looking for portability or if you're playing with a lot of kids, definitely go with Rhino Hero. Xenosys wants a complicated game, but one of the things is that they want to keep it under an hour and a half, which is a little bit hard to find. Now for this one, I'll suggest a few games. I'll suggest Matayani or Innovations. Also, I'd suggest Agricola if you can keep the player count low and it turns quick. Manhattan Project, because the game ends so quickly, it actually could end an hour and a half at full player count. And the last one, just because in terms of how many characters there are and how many different terms of inter interactions that can be Battlecon. And that was another episode of What Should I Get? Be sure to post your questions on the board game subreddit on Reddit under the What Should I Get mega thread that's usually there. It's a daily post at this point. And this is Gary Pope from Late to the Table and I hope you're enjoying your breakfast.